did you um see we're recording now okay yeah okay i was just making uh, sure so i can't talk about the <laughs> pants no what okay. you can talk about it after edit that <laughs> cut hey guys it's justine and i'm janet sorry i was mid laugh we're, we're like, well, giggling well stop it because it's time for the same brain podcast intro to roll intro to roll to roll roll, roll that, that intro no! okay <laughs> So we have two very special guests today, Becky and Chris, or Chris and Becky, however, you know, however you want to go. She does 90% of the work, so we're going to go with Becky and Chris. Yeah, I, okay. I keep Chris's name at the end just in case I have to cut him out later yeah. on, you know? <laughs> That's actually smart. Right? And I feel like it's 2023, so we're putting the women first. That's Sorry, right. You that's guys right. had... I can be and Chris. Yeah. And true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like if I had a jersey on, there'd be an and sign there. And yeah. Chris. If yeah. you get cut out, then you... Yeah, it's true. It could just yeah, be Becky and... Channel. I'm going to start Becky. my own channel and Chris. And Chris. Yeah. I love that. I yeah. love that you guys are so secure in your relationship that we can joke about failure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell them, I'm like, if this, if this like doesn't go the way we want it to go, uh, the channel is mine. <laughs> Good. That's fair. You need yeah. that. It's At like least a, you were upfront about it. Yeah. You should be. Yeah. That's even like when we take pictures, you know, when you're dating a person, like when you're with your family, it's like you take the family picture without that said yes. person just in case. Oh. Yeah. See, or I, put them on the outside so you can you crop put them on the right. outside. Yes. You do one with them. You do them without. It's just the smart thing to do. Because like, you know. I, are you looking at me for a reason? We've had a I cut actually, out. <laughs> You're cut from the family. There's been a lot of cut. Yeah. No, I'm we just, the we family. Just cut, we take pictures with Justine, with the family, and then without, without Justine. Her, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's always on the outside, just in case. <laughs> we can we just have that. her take the picture now. For another podcast. That, that was like the picture that I showed you guys earlier, where I cut my friend out of the picture with me and, and Tay-Tay. I didn't see it. I did didn't I? see that. I don't that think that was us. That wasn't was us. Wait, That's fine. Uh, wow. Sarah. Oh, Sarah. wow. Oh. Wow. Sarah Sorry. was on podcast 69. If you want to check that out, yeah. that's linked yes, up here. Yes, she was. <laughs> yes, she was. We're all really good friends here. We know who each other are. Anyway. Good so, friends. It was early, talking it was about early in the morning, okay? Now I'm embarrassed. No, <laughs> there's no need to be. So we are here at camera camp. And I feel like the first time we all kind of connected was at the first camera camp in yeah. 2019, in which was three and a half years ago. That's crazy. It that feels like yeah, so it feels like a long time ago. I keep saying a year ago, and I'm like, one year <laughs> equals 3.5 years. I still think yeah. the 70s is 30 years ago. Oh, you're how old. many is it? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Were you 70s? here in the 70s? No, no. I wasn't. Since I was born in 1994, I would have <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, didn't, I, should have to do the math that time. <laughs> I don't know what any of you are talking about. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Look at me. Somehow we're the same age, but you're 10 no, years. No, you're not. You would. You were born in 1994, right? Yeah. Uh, or are you not a liar? I'm. I. Oh, you're not a liar. Fine. Well, it's okay. The, the math is not adding up right okay. now. Okay. We can. We can take a screenshot from the group chat where we all stated our our names or no, not our names. <laughs> our, our birthdays. Ages. My name is yeah. Becky. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm an 87 baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounded like a rap. But I yeah. I did a I was like a, a 29 and holding person for a while. Yeah. And well, you were in denial for a long time. Every time I was like, oh, Becky, how does it feel? And she's like, how does it feel to what? I'm like, how does it feel to be older than me now? <laughs> <laughs> she's like. I can't say what she said, yeah. but yeah, it was, uh, I had a hard time with, with turning 30. Except for then you forgot how old you were. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I, I have a lot of people at work ask me how old I am. And so they're like, how old are you? Do you rather know you're doing this? And so I'm just, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So I, I am a December baby. So I start, I like, you know, fall comes around, I start rounding up and then I started identifying as being a year older. And so when my actual birthday came around, I added a year onto that. Oh. So it became a thing where like then the next year I was like, wait, how old am I turning? For like a whole year I was saying I was a year older. And then I'm it's like, like you gained a year out of nowhere. I know. I was like, and I, I always Happy describe birthday. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I was like, I always describe it like finding money in your pocket, except I found like a, whole a full year, year whole of my life year. in my pocket. You actually did that too. I did too. Because she kept telling everybody she was 30. 28. <laughs> uh, sorry, my bad. I was at a gas leak, so my brain cells died. Um, True story. I, yeah. I kept telling, or you kept telling everybody, like, yeah, I was 28, 20. And then, like, months later, I go, you're not. I was like, you're, that's not how old you are. And you're like, nah, uh. And I'm like, yeah, do the math. And you're like, oh my God, I, just I had got no a whole idea. year back. I'm like, yeah. I, uh, yeah, shook. But once mm. you hit 30, I feel like that happens. Yeah. Because I, I don't know. You I'm start getting old. You start forgetting things. Yes. That is a real old person move. Yeah. What, like, no, I don't know is. how old I am. I have no, I don't know Same. yet. I don't know what year. I don't even know what today is. Isn't age just a construct though? <laughs> no, know, it's I, a real concrete <laughs> thing. <laughs> I mean, you know, my hips crack and my knees crack, but sure. It's just, it's just a number. I could my, not believe when I drove up here that it was Monday and not Friday. I went to go get dinner and I was like, oh, I'll make a reservation because it's Friday. It's going to be super busy. And they were like, it's it's actually Monday today. I go. No, it's not. I, couldn't, I I had to I had to look at my calendar. What's today? I don't know. 
Uh, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. No, it's not. It's Wednesday. Yes, it is. Yeah. The life of a content creator. <laughs> <laughs> every, every day, day blends is every Saturday. Day. Oh, there right. are like, no weekends. Your no schedule is probably different because you have like a set schedule that You're you have to be in the boy. hospital. A real boy. A real, a real <laughs> boy. I'm a real boy. boy. I'm a Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a fake boy. He's a real boy. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my schedule is kind of like I have discrete weekends and weekdays, mm-hmm. and but Becky is just like a blur. She's the sh- only reason why I know it's a weekend is because he's around. Yeah, and oh, sometimes like Chris is home today. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> if I'm like working on the weekend and like Chris is home, and it's quiet, and then I'll hear something. I'm just, like he'll drop something and then yell, and it scares the crap out of me because I'm like, oh my god, there's somebody in the house. And I'm like, wait, it's, it's Saturday, and my husband is here. Like, <laughs> it's a weekend. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, she probably shouldn't be working. <laughs> Yeah. So Jenna got gassed out. Oh my. Jenna almost died. She almost died at camera camp. It was not at any fault of Sony. No. Please. Sony, I love you so much. It was forced manure. (laughs) Forced manure. (laughs) (laughs) No, so like Oh god! So anyway, we I we came up a little bit early, which whatever you know. We got here, dropped my stuff off, met up with a friend who I haven't seen in like eight years. Got back, got some dinner, and like when I came back, I was like, "There's kind of like a smell in my room. I'm like that's interesting, but like I'm really tired. Do I care about said smell? I'm like, no, I'm just gonna. I mean, like, wait, did you? But did you positively identify it as a gas smell at this point? Yes. You're like, oh yeah, slight, this, this is clearly like, a gas leak. <laughs> but here's the thing. So it was like when I showered because it was like really like I was like, oh, it's like a just something is really smelly. I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's gas, maybe it's not. I'm like, I'll just put the fan on. So thankfully I didn't put the heat on. I just put like the- uh, I didn't think about that. I know, I thought about that later. So I was like, I'm not gonna put the heat on even though it was really cold. I'm just gonna put the fan to, you know, get some fresh air. Maybe it's like mold, whatever. Wake up in the morning. (laughs) Mold. I couldn't sleep (laughs) through the night. I think it's because my body kept waking me up because it was dying. (laughs) Like I literally- that's terrifying. was, Was unwell, could not sleep. Woke up when I eventually did fall asleep with a migraine. I felt like I was like- drugged i felt nauseous i had literally like the worst headache ever and i'm like i don't feel so good maybe i need to need a coffee step outside to get coffee come back in and i'm like could you still smell the gas at this point well no because like, i was used to it, it but when i went out to get coffee and then came back in is when i went this is very bad and then i opened wow. the side door there's like a little utility closet i opened it and the gas smell wafted in the fa- in oh my, my face and i was like i'm really lucky to be alive and whatever, got maintenance. They were like, oh, it's fixed now. So how long did, did you spend That's a whole scary. night? Sleeping? A whole entire night. Wow. wow. And I was messed up yesterday. Like I couldn't, I could like barely say sentences. Like I was, try, I was like, I don't know. I feel funny. How'd and you, my, how you I, you died? I could oh have died. God. If yeah. I would have put the heat on, maybe. Or created that, a good spark or something. Yeah. Good spark. So interesting enough, we had a gas leak at our house and the guy who came in, he was like super informative the title of this podcast is going to be like <laughs> what to do if you have a gas leak <laughs> don't well, sleep in the room don't sleep well, no. what, like what do we all think about with gas leaks is if you like light something or if you like something sparks boom right but he was saying like you know you're probably fine it takes what he said was like that's usually overrated like you need to have a ton of gas in your house to the point where like you can't even like occupy the space this is what the guy was saying so yeah. don't don't yeah. sue me if, if you if you guys test this <laughs> out but apparently like yeah like having a house totally explode in a dramatic fashion is like not that common that's good that is we're good glad, yeah. we're glad to know that yeah. but also i was reading the facts of like what if there is like a serious gas leak and you're in it like you can die within like 15 minutes and you slept in it for all night for like eight hours but i honestly think because if i would have put the heat on i'm assuming that would also trigger the the gas the gas yeah. so if like i think the fan was like you know circulating the air and keeping me alive well, well, it's like a carbon monoxide situation yeah. except for like i guess the detectors wouldn't pick up propane and it's not propane it's natural gas yeah, yeah. would it pick up something well no, i don't know because no. when i came back and i was switching rooms and i came back in then like the thing was beeping and like it kept going off mm. and i was like not my problem anymore. I'm, like, I'm just going to take all my I'm stuff out. and get out. And I was like, mm, but interesting. Um, yeah. Well, you got some wine and some snacks yeah, out of it. Us, they yeah, they sent some wine in a snack basket. Please said, don't sue they me. They said, please let me know if you need anything. I'm like, <laughs> too little, us. too late, but I'm still here. How about but, a gas-free room? Yeah. <laughs> I got an upgrade. Nice. Oh. Room. It's nice. Ocean that, view. So why aren't we <laughs> filming in your room? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we were going to. We but were, but I had all the podcast here. stuff. So it was easier. Yeah. So anyway, that was fun. Happy to be here. Yeah. Well, we're happy you're here too. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been a real different vibe. Yeah. yeah. Can right. you imagine? I mean, the podcast would have had to still go on. Yeah. Of yeah. Course. Just <laughs> change the name, bury me in the backyard, just half brain. Move on. Half, 
Oh. And what about Maddie? <laughs> so he probably wouldn't have. He, we would have been burying both of us. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, this oh, got oh, really Maddie, dark. Yeah, <laughs> he was with me. Wow. No, he's a survivor. He would have. <sighs> it's so sad. This is that really is, sad. This is dark. Anyway, let's <laughs> this move on. Is great. Um, so I almost died a year ago. Yeah, let's continue. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's I talk about the friendship. About I almost died. Oh. I almost died yesterday. Oh, oh my god. god! It has been a year. April first. So April first. Maybe it's after they're watching. But yeah, I mean, like you basically, you kind of saved my life. You know, what? I mean, you guys weren't friends before we that. Had- <laughs> <laughs> we were like friends. We weren't That's capital brutal. capital That's letter brutal. friends. That was Jeez. everybody oh. else witnessed that that last night, and that was yeah. I- <laughs> that- so. Yeah. Wow. So you had a blood clot. I had a blood clot. You um, did. I've talked about it a bunch. Weird. Like, what a weird thing. We were going to go film a podcast. And that's when you were like, well, my arm's a little swollen. I'm like, oh, like, let me see. And I'm like, yeah, I got up at 5 a.m. I packed all of our podcast gear in that very little Pelican case, what? all set, ready to go. Yeah. And then I'm like looking at my arm. I was like, dude, this is this is swollen. So very I went swollen. to urgent care and the woman looked at it and was like, oh, you, you're going to need to go to the emergency room right now. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, I'm so hungry, though, and I need some coffee. <laughs> so I went back and made breakfast, <laughs> made some coffee, and then Jenna came over to take me yeah, to the and ER. Then, like, oh the next God. day is when we realized what was going on. And I was like, mm, I just happened to have a little friend that can text here. My, no, a little something about blood clots. A friend, yeah. A friend. A, friend. Well, a real friend. Well, like, we were always chatting about, like, Rivian and, like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, crypto and, like, stupid stuff. Because we were friends. You guys were buddies. Yeah, we were yeah. Real, real friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was on the, the other side. I wasn't, you know, Jenna's parents' house. Yeah. yeah. It's now Jenna's it's, sister. It's now Bree's yeah. sister's house. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to text you and just, you know, see see what you think uh, about the situation. So I get a text from Jenna at 7 a.m. my time, which is early. 4 a.m. L.A. But then I'm mm-hmm. thinking, like, I don't think she gets up that early. Like, <laughs> why would she be up at in the, basically the middle of the night? And then it's just randomly, hey, what do you know about subclavian DVTs? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, that is my specialty. So. I was like, I already know you know. So uh, while I, was I like, have well, you. Quite a lot, actually. Like, what do you want to know? Like, what's what's going on? I think I mentioned said yeah. something to that, to that effect. I don't know if I sent a picture. I was like, well, you know, in the ICU with Justine, she's got a little little blood clot action i mean i wasn't this chill but yeah and then you were great like we were obviously it was a very scary situation and we've never had you know a blood clot before and no and you were very helpful and you were great and you talked to like oh gosh you talked to i think my whole family but also your doctor i mean <laughs> the hard part was because like they weren't explaining to me what was happening and then you know they took me down to the operating room that morning and i was like wait what are you doing like are you is anybody gonna fill me in and I was like, hold on, I got to call my sister. And then we called you. And then we were all on speakerphone. And I know so, my- so I get a text from Justine <laughs> saying, hey, can I call you? And then like before I can respond, I'm just like, like, oh, Justine's calling me. I never make phone calls. So if I'm calling you, I'm probably dying. Usually when I answer, when you're calling, like, what's wrong? Yeah. Can you bring me this? Oh. Yeah, but you were on speakerphone in the operating room with me and the doctor. Yeah, I mean, well, it's it's so for context- you saw an interventional radiologist. Yeah. I am an interventional radiologist. I work in Buffalo. Um, you were in California. But the the problem with our specialty, it's it's different from like traditional surgical specialty. We do procedures, but like mm-hmm. surgical specialties, they'll see patients in consult. There's always a full team in house, whereas we're sort of a call in basis. So you end up in situations where this guy's coming in from home. He's not gonna come in and do a consult with you on the floor and then say, okay, well now we'll bring you down to the operating room or the procedure lab, the angio suite as we call it. And then you're gonna be like there for, uh, you know, like they're gonna take time to set it up and everything. So like ideally what he wants to do is just have all his ducks in a row, put you down in the lab, have you set up, he'll show up, you'll be literally on the table. It's not an ideal situation. Though. Yeah, but it's like standard, it's like standard what they do, you know? It, it is kind like. of standard. And, yeah. that's, and that's just with interventional radiology where it was born from diagnostic radiology, which is like looking at medical imaging and like making reports based on what's going on in the images. And we do, we're taking that specialty and we're going a step further by doing image guided procedures. So procedures that use the imaging technology like CT, ultrasound, fluoroscopy slash x-ray. Yeah. And so we're doing these procedures under image guidance. And we were, we started off as radiologists historically, and then we kind of became proceduralists, but the, the, we still operate in the confines of the radiology department where things get ordered, they get done. And it's not so much like the surgical specialties where right. like they'll come, they'll have a resident in house who can come see you 
consent you explain the procedure like if you were had like say like you had to need to get your gallbladder out emergently or something or your appendix out like a resident would have come and saw you who's on the surgical team they would have talked to you about the procedure in depth and then you would go down the OR. you probably you might not even have met the attending surgeon you might only meet the residents but where we don't have residents typically it's just us wow so i i get i, I feel bad because at the end of the day you know i will try to explain everything to my patient as clearly as possible but sometimes it's you know fairly close to when a procedure might happen. But it's yeah. unfor- inf- it was unfair in your situation because the people who are explaining things to you were like emergency room physicians, and they don't know what we do in the angio suite. Mm-hmm. They don't know what happens with the procedure. They don't know what the risks, the benefits. All they know is IR is going to come in and fix this, and that's it. It was also the weekend too. I feel like that and, weekend. And yeah, you get in a weekend situation too where you're off you're off hours, and now it's only call in team. So the only person that per- time the person is coming in is you know like when they're going to do the procedure. And yeah. it seems like that's one of those things where it's like I mean you were very very like you had a very severe like blockage. So yeah. I feel like in this thing they're like you know what we got to like get this out like now like yeah you want to talk or do you want to live like let's yeah. go lady come on yeah I mean but it was just <laughs> I, it, having some knowledge and then it was just yeah. comforting to know them like is this what you would do <laughs> yeah. to your patients <laughs> and like I didn't do anything for you guys it was yeah. just a matter of just but honestly like a lot of the times patients just kind of want to know like what is going to happen like just want to know inf- they just want information and being left in the dark is it's it can be tortuous, right? You're 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 just sitting there not knowing, and it's the fear of the unknown that can really kind of like drive you up the wall, right? Well, and like that medication too that they give you, or whatever whatever it was the TPA, is yeah, that what it was. It's like I mean that you're so prone to anything. Like if you bump something, you're just that. I don't, it was just so scary. Yeah. So TPA yeah. basically is it's it, your body naturally forms a version of TPA, mm-hmm. which essentially will prevent it'll break down, actively break down blood clots. So it's not just preventing new blood clots from forming, but it's actively breaking down end clots are there. So the, one of the major risks is having a big bleeding event. Yeah. And so if a bleeding event happens in your brain, that's a stroke. If a bleeding event happens in any major organs, that can be catastrophic. So we, you know, so if you fell and hit your head, you know, or that, that's why they will they'll put you in the ICU and monitor you. Yeah, if you're, up and, yeah if you're up and moving around, like you fall and hit your smack your head, what normally would be a non-issue, you could end up with bleeding intracranial hemorrhage. We call it bleeding on the brain, and that's a hemorrhagic stroke. So that is, we don't treat this drug lightly. Like yeah. this is a very serious stuff, and I, you always have to have these frank conversations. Now, the the chances of something like that happening is very, 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 very small. And in fact, if you look at the numbers, it's like I would probably say at the doses you're getting, you know, far less than one percent. But it's crazy. There though. are. There are times where, you know, what they did with you is they put a catheter in a hollow tube called a catheter. They put it, you know, into your arm. And then if you picture it kind of like maybe like one of those like garden hose sprinklers with the little holes in the side that just kind of like sprinkles things in. <laughs> so fun. it's kind of like a little mini version of that. And yeah. they're just dripping the TPA in ever so slowly. And the, at those at very low doses compared to like, you know, you, in, not in the old days, but if someone comes in with a very emergent, you know, thing, they might just give them a big whop and dose of tpa systemically we call it and that might be like something like 50 milligrams whereas they were giving you like one milligram an mm-hmm. hour and i think that after they talked to you they kind of even reduced it to half that just because of your apprehension and level of nervousness towards it but you know even though those doses are so low there still is a finite risk yeah i mean when they're reading off the risks to you like while you're on like a metal table yeah. about to be it's, like it's like you're watching like one of those like uh, like far- pharmacy commercials like <laughs> oh, yeah. side effects included bleeding death, blah, 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 and yeah. death. I'm like oh okay stroke die he's like you, you could die I'm like oh cool great great but you could also die if you did nothing yeah so but, it's like well but, which one are you gonna take yo it's definitely a pretty traumatic thing and it's kind of crazy to look back on like that being like a year ago yeah is mm. is wild and look at the friendship that has blossomed look at this, look at this yeah From it's it. nice that you helped because it normally was. when i ask for help <laughs> you tell me to make, make an, an appointment, appointment. <laughs> <laughs> uh call my secretary He's like, okay. make an appointment <laughs> um you just need to be dying on no. a table I know, and I need, call I need a and then, yeah exactly <laughs> and I then would, if he tells you to make an appointment that's when you cut off the and chris yep exactly yes, exactly i'd like to go to the channel but last night what was it what happened last Last night, you were like, well, you because I said this would be the collab of the world, like it'd be so epic if you did my surgery, and then you said, <laughs> oh yeah, I said, I said, yeah, you're. I was like, yeah, technically, like you're not supposed to operate on friends just because you're not able to objectively look at the situation and <laughs> have an object. And you were like, yeah, we're not friends. We weren't friends. <laughs> we, were we friends. weren't friends. <laughs> but what I meant is like we weren't like. I mean, we were friends, but like we weren't like super close. It wasn't like I was that. like, wow, yeah. Justine, I would never have answered that phone call if I knew that. <laughs> I was like, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I'm here talking oh. to you. I have you on the phone. There's another surgeon there's another ir in the room and he's like 
wait a second, you have your own personal IR on the phone right yes. now? Yeah, like, but we're not friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not, <laughs> not friends. I'm hung up. <laughs> that was such a, we have such a weird experience for, oh, the, for the procedure list. I mean, it was yeah. all just super weird. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, dude just wanted to come in and just get in and get out. I know. <laughs> Literally well. just like, choop, choop, get in there, mm. in the clock. But mm. was the experience like that bad? Did you find it was? Um, it, yeah, it was good. I mean, I just try to be as nice as possible to like all of the nurses and everyone coming in because it's just like they have your life in your hands. Yes. I brought them baked goods on your behalf. That's she nice. did. Man, yeah. this one baker. Oh, it's blueberry muffins. Mm. Mm. Jenna was you, feeding me. Would you believe that some people, they like, I, I don't expect people to like treat me differently. You know, there shouldn't be like the expectation. Oh, I have to treat this person with, with you know, like kiss her butt because they've got my life in their hands right. but like some people are actually like can you are we done yet can you hurry up and i'm like you oh that. you right. I was like i would never ask somebody who was like literally operating on me to her because we do these procedures and usually usually under either under local anesthetic so just numbing medication or conscious sedation i was out yeah so moderate mm -hmm. sedation which is you know sometimes we'll use general anesthesia where they fully put you under and put you know breathing tube down i think i had that I was completely. You were intubated? Oh, I was, yeah, because then the one time I woke up, I was like, oh, my throat hurts. Damn. No, I was out. Oh, interesting. Wow. Yeah. I, like, I have He's probably videos. like, she's talking too much. Well, you might have been. No, well, <laughs> maybe she's going to call <laughs> that guy some more drugs. Yeah, she's she's I was so chatty. I had, like, my phone, which I know they did not want oh, me yeah, to have. But I was like, your phone. I was like, I will not. I will not. This you could have live streamed it. I was like, you're going to yeah. pry this from my dead hand. I would, I would let you live stream <laughs> it. Like I had some like, I would woke up. <laughs> cool. I was super into NFTs and I woke up talking about like oh, Ethereum yeah. and like all these NFT projects. I was like, oh, crypto. I was so, I have to find them because there are some things I can't ever post because I said some bad things. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, I'm good now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. We can't leak it until yeah. we get a sponsor. That's true. That's when the good content comes. Yeah. Yeah. Can someone sponsor <laughs> these people? Please. <laughs> Anybody. Oh, man. Another fun story is when you guys visited us, our parents, like you dropped in, in with we your helicopter. We literally dropped in. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. That was so random. It was great because it was perfect because we just got into town that day. We had a red eye flight mm -hmm. and you guys were getting, you were getting the helicopter service. We were, we're doing on a trip. You were going camping. Yeah. That's right. And we had to stop by our maintenance place because there was something, what was happening? We had to get something looked at. We had to swing by our maintenance hangar, which is just outside Pittsburgh. Yeah. And then we were Very going- cold. Uh, no, I'm okay. Okay. Do you want to close the door? Do you no, no, we're okay. Yeah, you can't. I've got a jacket. Can jacket? Yeah. You can't close the door because the camera's in the doorway. You know so <laughs> you're just gonna have to I'm think good. warm. I'm good. Okay, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to interrupt. Are, are you cold? cold? Think of gas. Are you cold? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. Nobody I just asked really you if you were cold. Just want to make sure it's not another Christmas parade moment where he almost perished at the Christmas parade. I almost died at the Christmas parade. Really? No. It was so cold. It's up there with Jenna's gas experience. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. So we shouldn't joke about you, you guys actually having health issues. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was fine until I, you know, went. Until you weren't. But then yeah. now you're fine. I, kind of. Mm, 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 mm. I still have a rib. <laughs> so and He's cold. One of the treatments is a, a rib removal. Yeah, I yeah. didn't do that yet. Yeah, because there's a compression of. Come to from Buffalo. Your... Wait, you don't, you don't remember. Oh, wait, no, they're friends now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Shoot. Yeah. Shoot. We're, we're, we're going to break up as friends. So <laughs> yeah. I don't Got even remember it, but I'll try. <laughs> what? Hi, everybody. <laughs> they said I could keep it. That's oh, that's nice. Interesting. Yeah, I make it to like a little necklace. necklace. Yeah. yeah. See, that's get not like, a bad idea. Yeah, like get it dipped in like rose gold. It'll look yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. I just feel like this is my room. Yeah, it's great. I love it. You were saying something. Yeah, what we were talking about. Helicopter? Sorry, I, I, oh, yeah, we, dro we dropped yes. in. Yeah, so we, were, we went to the maintenance hangar because I think we had to get oil. Did we have oil change? Something had happened. I don't something remember. Had to get. Anyway, we were going camping and randomly we were just like looking at the map and he had your parents house on the map as one would and we right. just happened to be going in this, <laughs> this a similar weird. direction is this, this is weird that so, i have your parents no a, we're friends as a gps location <laughs> you were like what is this waypoint on the map and so we started <laughs> zooming in and i was like why do you have jenna's parents <laughs> tagged in four flight that's really creepy <laughs> i think it's because at like, one oh. point you mentioned like randomly you're like oh my parents have a lot of land and you could definitely land a helicopter there and i was like yes. oh send me like a pin on google maps and i'll i'll just just out of curiosity yeah and i think i'd like tagged it on like on four flight which is the app i use it's like google maps for the sky yeah i, I have a bunch of waypoints of like cool places to land so i have like jenna's parents house here you so never funny. know because like, this was before you were friends with justine yep correct so really yeah. Or, yeah. oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. well, this was uh, 
No, when was you it? landed, we were friends. Yeah, I think that was post clot. Yeah, but when we've been, we've but been when bickering we put the about this so much, I changed yeah. it to Bree's. Oh, Bree, <laughs> so our other sister. Just put Maddie's grandparents. Just Maddie's change yeah. it to the exactly, dog. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you were like, oh, we're flying over your parents' house. Like, forgot I had this as a waypoint. I'm like, well, we're here. Drop it. You guys want to come over? Yeah. We just woke up from a red eye, uh, post red eye spirit flight, so we feel terrible. Come hang out. Well, it was before, perfect because it was, it was before like. Before gold status? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was. before. Before gold, mm-hmm. unfortunately. It worked out because it was so hot pre-gold. that we were both like dying anyway. So we were all dying. I think. You made so. a little snack. It was yeah, so I made hot. a snack. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you made, <laughs> I did you made your like rations, dried meals, <laughs> <freeze-dried laughs> <freeze-dried laughs> in their kitchen. And my <laughs> mom was like, "Can I please make you guys like?" Uh, she was she wasn't home yet, but she's like, "I'll make you food." And, like, your dad was like, "I will defrost food. I there's food in the freezer. Do you want something else?" And I was just like, "No." And then he's like, "There's mashed potatoes." There's no rice. I'm okay. Your family's the sweetest. They're so sweet. I know. My mom's like, "I'll be home soon. I can I can make them food. Bring them food." I'm like, "They're." They're gonna be okay, I think. Yeah, they, they brought their own meal. I yeah. know. Okay, a little free stretch <laughs> meal. <laughs> She's like, there's seven thousand cookies here. I'm like, oh, there are a lot of cookies. Was that the holidays or what? When no, was it was that? like summer. Oh, it was like July. Yeah, it was, was that like, a tank yeah. top one? I was, was I was hot. directing with my. You were doing the doors. aircraft marshalling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yep. believe the, the, the term is mm-hmm. called. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> trying, giving yeah. it your best. I was just looking. I was like, I don't know what she's doing. She's telling me to go left, right. Oh no, I don't know what I was. I'm just like, I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna pretend that we're following the instructions. Yeah, yeah. I was like, what's this one? That was probably that was a scoot. Yeah, but move then she to the left. left. Well, move I back. just see them do that and on then the runway. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, that was that was the yeah, cool move. Yeah. For yeah. anyone listening, that was just some wild hand gestures. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. yeah, very yeah. wild. It was me imitating her lightsaber movements. Yeah, okay, that <laughs> that is you funny. shouldn't have been doing. Oh yeah, Doctors don't do world. them in front of the doctor. I did. I did a little bit for Halloween, <laughs> and then I did. Yeah, I'm very very light, just a little bit. Don't get don't yell at me. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy that in my medical chart, like it says, like. I have a clot from a lightsaber, basically. That is like, amazing. I mean, yeah. that people would in come in record. and they would be like, so we need to talk. And I go, about what? They thought you were like delirious and yeah. Yeah. not connected with reality. Like, <laughs> Fair. And they're like, you know, type, 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 type. And they well, type, type, type. Uh, and they'd be like, what is this? What, what is this lightsaber trick? What, what is yeah. this? Why, uh, they really, Give me my phone. I was let me there, show you like, a video. I would watch them come in. Like many, like, what's this lightsaber training? They, they thought you were psychotic. They left Probably. definitely thought yeah. you were psychotic. I'm like, no, I'm a Jedi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then you actually would show them and be like, oh, wow. Okay, she's actually really she's good at that. pretty good, yeah. yeah. Well, you oh, couldn't man. move your arms for a couple days. No. So then I had to be like, yeah, no, she... She she does it here. I used a lot of the accessibility <laughs> features on the iPhone, actually, which was like... Mm. It was weird because it's like you know that they're there, but you never actually need them until you do, and it's like wow, like it's it's like I I finally was able to understand, and it was it was kind of a really surreal experience. You had to like move the button so you could like mm-hmm. t- yeah, that was interesting. I had to brush your teeth. Yeah, you did. Brush my hair. She I did brush your hair. She didn't brush my butt. No. I <laughs> there was not. no turd wiping. Oh, no, <laughs> not wipe the, that they there. I was not being. Paid I didn't to make be there. any turds the <laughs> no. whole That's time. So not dangerous. One. Not one. Did well, you know that if you don't go to the bathroom, you can be so backed up that you can throw up feces? Oh my god, I heard about that and I've been like scarred for life. I'm so sorry. No, barf- it's like my, one of my it's biggest fears. It's that like could have been her. <laughs> poo. Yes. <laughs> well, it was only like five days. That's. I would have rather. You probably weren't eating really. Like you had probably one. Yeah. So it brings up the philosophical question: like, what is what is poo? I would have rather thrown up poo than had somebody else have to wipe my butt. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to turn into a would you rather game. I know yeah, it. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I would take somebody wipe my butt any day over a bar. Really? Oh, yeah, Imagine sure. the smell and taste. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> maybe I take it back. Would you rather go paragliding or have Jenna wipe your turd? <laughs> that was the, Jenna that was wipe the, my turd. That was the text message thread. That <laughs> was the text message thread. We have some weird text message thread. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because we're, we're friends. We're such good friends. Because we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> anyway. Oh, am I recording? You guys. No. Yeah, we're recording. Yeah, you guys have been sure. coming out with a lot of very cool stuff, which I am wearing one of the sweatshirts. Very oh. cozy, very nice. Um, I can't cute. believe that you bought that. You. Why would I not buy it? You snake. I'm a I'm a fan and a supporter because I'm oh, a friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> 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 but then you, Where's yours, Justine? <laughs> she, bought, she bought the book. I bought four mugs. And no, you and did. then oh, you, you did, you did, you, you, did. Did. you, you really came out. And then you I missed the pre-order. I kept saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. I'm like, shoot, I, I missed the pre-order. And then you guys sent me a book. So I, I was so excited because I really, really wanted it. And she it. gave it's me so two cool. of the mugs, which I also use and have. So nice. that was very kind of you. That's really nice of you guys. Appreciate the support. It's so cool. Well, your stuff is so like vibey. Thanks. So nice. Oh, and the matches are cool. Oh, yeah. I... 
I was caused a fire the first time. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so, well, there's this gas don't, leak. Yeah, don't do it no, 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 there yeah. wasn't a gas leak at the time. But um, yeah, those were cool too. Those are. I don't have a coffee table yet, so like once I do, you guys. <laughs> yeah, are gonna you gotta take get over. a coffee table for the for the matches and the books. I know, but yeah. I just like sit on the floor all the time. Well, you have a robot, so I've got you do have a robot. I have three robots, robots now. But, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got Three Astro. Is his name I have Astro? Astro, and then I have the the two mopping vacuums? robot, and then the vacuum robot. Mm. Oh, so two yeah. two like Roomba style ones. Yeah, and then one two actual cleaning ones and one like. Well, Astro can learn that there's a table in the way. <laughs> Although Astro comes in super hot sometimes. Astro's like, really cute. He's so cute. Barrels into the kitchen, says come in to hang out, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, that's I'm like, nice. What do you want? And it's like I'm here to help, and I'm like, I don't. What are you gonna do? <laughs> can you like take my trash out? No, not yet. No, Astro is great. It's, it's <laughs> seriously so cute, but I'm just like. Tyler, you've seen Astro. He's cool. He said yeah. he's cool. Yeah, it's it's a it's what's a what's cute. his like utility? Well, he's not function. a key. It's it's a oh sorry. It what's is, what is their utility? What is it? It it's we call it 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 yeah. okay. It's utility. I mean, it's actually very cool for security because it has all the ring integrations into it, and there's okay. actually a camera that can come up like it can like you can be like oh hey Astro take a selfie and it'll raise the camera <laughs> stick and you can like take a selfie but you can use it to also like patrol your house while you're gone oh that's so cool. you can arm it like you would your house and it can like do rounds sentry mode and it's cool pretty mm. much yeah. and it can detect if there's any like you can register your face so when Tyler came over for the first time it gave like a little angry face at him <laughs> and it like <laughs> like gave Astro yeah Astro like gave Tyler a look and then when I armed it it was like. It, I got an alert to my phone that there was an unrecognized person in my house. Mm. So it's actually pretty cool. That's cool. Gotcha. Did that but make there... you... Uh... Never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I was going to say, did that make you pucker up no. seeing that? <laughs> getting a notification that somebody was in your house? No, it was for, the, it was for the video. So we, we were testing it. But it was okay. actually, it was pretty cool. So yeah, Astro, sweet That's little Astro. That's cool. Is there like a weapons function? Can you like soup it and be like... So, no, I don't think so. Astro attack the true no, intruder. Astro is is a friendly, lovable. He just robot. gives mean Household looks. Yeah, very mean looks. I was like, <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> and it has cup holders, so like I can put my drink in it and say like, Astro, take this to the kitchen. But then when he gets to the kitchen, well, what does he do? <laughs> well, he stays there. So stays there. My mission is to take this to the kitchen. <laughs> Astro <laughs> completes the task, and I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll go get that. You know, I can see that being convenient if you're like getting some snacks ready. For your, and then it. you like put your drinks. And maybe you have like Astro a delivers. water and a coffee, and exactly. then you have your like popcorn and some chocolates and something. Your hands are full. I put them in an Astro and they follow you over to the living room. I thought yeah. it would be good. What if someone's like, "Hey, I need toilet paper," and you're like, well, I, don't, <laughs> "I don't, I don't want to go in there." So you're like, put "Some toilet Astro, paper in." Take this. I don't care about privacy That's reasons. Right. Take this to the bathroom. Do you think Turkey that, time. Do you think yeah. that Astro could have wiped Justine's mind? <laughs> Probably that stick. Maybe in the up. next couple <laughs> years. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm I'm traumatized from having a stranger. Amazon, I if you're you. listening, I'm so sorry. I appreciate the brand. I had a really great time and I love Astro. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll safely edit around that. We no, all, no, no, we it's all, okay. We it's all okay. love Astro. No, yeah. Astro is Astro's really cool. Cutest. And Astro is, uh, you know, evolving. So I'm mm -hmm. excited to see what the future holds. <laughs> so do you guys have any big travel coming up? Any any big plans? <laughs> Just trying to change the <laughs> topic. Wow, she said <laughs> I'm so sorry you have that in the set. That's okay. That's um, okay. Do we have uh, any big travels coming up? We do actually have a couple of trips. Um, so hello. We, we, have a, <laughs> we have a trip coming up. That's what I was leading into. <laughs> yeah, we have two. Well, we're going oh, where's on a trip. she going with this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to. Um, we're going to go to Zion. You yeah. planned it, so have I'm you guys not been sure. there? Never. never. Actually, you've kind of planned it too. You've yeah. never been to yeah, Zion. Yeah, you guys. I just you guys kind of did it, and I was just like, I'm gonna like let them plan it because I'm always having to plan the trips. So. I just have planning. never been there before. Yeah, me either. It's I'm so excited. It's so nice. Like everywhere you look, it's just these beautiful like red mountains and red rocks. And I think April are we saying when we're going? Yeah, it's whatever. Mm. When we're going, when we're Somewhere. going in the spring, it's going to be perfect for like hiking and everything. And I'm excited because we're going to be staying. We're going to do some glamping, and then mm -hmm. we're going to do some luxurious spa days. Oh, so yeah. having yeah. a real friendship weekend. You wouldn't know about that, Jess. Wow, <laughs> called out, <laughs> called out. Well, I don't think I got an invite. Oh. I, I actually <laughs> said, why don't you invite um, Justine? I don't want her to feel left out, but nobody responded to it. Oh, so. we're interesting. Really? Yeah, I did, yeah. Well, it's oh. not too late. Would you like it's to It's actually not too late. <laughs> no. No, no it's really not. We'll come I mob around. You come. could come. I could come. What if I had my Rivian by then? Oh, oh. my God. There's enough seats for that's, all of that's us. That's really yes. soon. I'm not going to have the Rivian no. by then. <laughs> <laughs> but you could get a Rivian on loan, probably. What if we got a big um, oh, Sprinter my. van again? Oh. Wait, a Sprinter? You. 
like a like a, like a Mercedes Sprinter, Mercedes Sprinter van. Oh, did you say Mercedes? A Mercedes what is it Sprinter van. Mercedes. 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 Yeah. Mercedes. Mercedes. It's cold. It's cold. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. What well, you just said something earlier? Just uh, old. during this ode. Yeah. Code. It's cold. It's kind of like. <laughs> It's cold. Cone. It's cold. God. I'm having oh, no. trauma from, from the condo corn video. Oh I'm like Dude. still really impressed that you made an entire TikTok in the app to that song. Well, I deleted a few clips. I heard that too. In but front you of did all it. the TikTokers. It was oh, very embarrassing. embarrassing. It's still really impressive because I don't know. <laughs> They're like, oh, this old clot lady over here. <laughs> <laughs> old clot lady. No, they were like, ew, we don't actually ever do that. What are you doing? I'm like, oh, sorry. I oh, thought that oh, oh, I was really? supposed to. Okay, well, give oh. them a camera and see if they know how to use it. Well, we now we have an AI now, camera. They yeah. don't need to know anything. That's right. That's fair. Mm -hmm. But you, you can come if sad. you want. We'll get a big Yeah, car. let me see. I might be yeah. like super jet large. I don't know. You'll be fine. We'll You'll have six days to recover. We'll We're all old, it so up. it's fine. That's right. We'll yeah. be, You're actually the yeah. youngest person in this crew yeah. right now. I am. Mm. 1994. Oh, you're right. 94. Yeah. 94, it's baby. so young. It's like you just came out of the womb. Yeah, I mean, maybe. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Maybe I I'll be there. Maybe I won't. Maybe, maybe I will be there. Well, We're trying yeah. to do some scary hiking. We don't know if that's going to happen. Well, but now, because now we have to get a permit. Yeah. Things really? have changed. Since Angel's the Landing, you have to yeah. get a permit. No way. Yeah, which makes sense because when it's really crowded, it's like scary scary and annoying and not very safe too because mm -hmm. it's like you're literally scaling the side of a mountain but there's other options that we can do that i've always wanted to do but i can't remember the name now Great. it's gonna be all new for us so we can yeah whatever. it's all gonna be exciting so yeah. whatever even if it's like walk to down the street this we is can, great we can ask bing ai there's a really a great um we should do that. mexican yeah. restaurant that has really good chips and salsa yum so that's on the list yes Food. so far that's the only thing Food. there's an ice cream place oh. across the street yes two plans Ooh. two plans unless that's no that's zion two plans it all revolves around food for me anyway I and there's a pizza that. place too <laughs> we got it we got it covered pizza chips you really and salsa, see our ice priorities cream. here yeah i can't remember food. anything else but i remember that. the restaurants and we have we have we have spa spa We're going times to the too spa. yes let us know if you're coming because we had to put, put an yeah. extra spa oh person. my gosh mm -hmm. she mm -hmm. can be convinced with spa day i know yeah mm. i love a have good you, spa day have you guys ever been to a scandinavian spa before i don't think so it is the best thing ever it's like sauna and like hot tubs and like cold plunges and infrared saunas and like heated things and like hammocks and epic oh wow the best Ooh. yeah it's like incredible heated outdoor ground everything's outside oh, did you say so it's your nice. favorite place in the world yes 100 percent that Whoa, sounds so yeah. nice Every so good. you guys day. will love it yeah I know Chris is so cold over there. I know yeah, he's his, his just ankles are yeah. exposed. Just a little tiny burger yeah. socks. Am I allowed to show skin up. here? Is this? Like <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> oh, look at that. We're pretty covered up. I got my friggin'. Oh my god, exposed! Like, oh, I got a little. Exposed, look at yeah. that. Oh my hair. Wow. Like hair. <laughs> oh, god. I hate when my ankles look are exposed. Look at that. Let's see this. Oh my god, what are this like? What are this like? Two socks. She has to wear these. These are so she doesn't clot. They're the what they call it? The compression socks. <laughs> Ma'am, those are standard <laughs> issue Kirkland <laughs> brand tube socks. <laughs> I always have like super short pants and then I've got like these like it's true. they're so high and Jenna's like, oh you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but, now, but now that's the style, but you have to wear like the white socks with like the the cool sneakers. Yeah. yeah. Have you tried not shopping in the kids section? <laughs> um, I mean, well, only when that was all that was available. My yeah. target rain boots. Mm. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I just oh go ahead. No, you go ahead. I have nothing to say. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I don't know what is on the go with fashion these days. I was trying to pack for this trip. Terrible. And I was like, what did people wear that isn't sweatpants? Or crop top. Because yeah. that's all every like everyone's wearing is like little Same. crop tops. And yeah. like I can't like, do crop. I'm too old for that. We've yeah. been shopping at American Eagle. And it's been great. Oh. So they do have a lot of crop tops, but man, well, like, yeah, but the stuff that's long, I'm like, this is great. It's mm. like a nice, like, I don't know what the texture is. Like, um, kind of like this. It's got like buttons. Like a, yeah, with like, like some a, buttons. Like yeah. a waffle moment. No, yeah. American Eagle has so much good stuff. Really? Yeah, great and jammies too. And comfy like their stuff. jeans like fit really well. Yeah. I don't even know what style of jeans. We went to the mall the other day because you were like, I need black pants. And so we <laughs> were like. Bla my black jeans got turned into renovation clothes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. no. Every pair of clothes. And you were like, I, I got no pants to wear. So we had to go to the mall. Oh, it was and terrible. He terrible. was like, I don't know what. Yeah, you got these at the mall. Yeah, these these look how new they look. They they do. Do. Yeah, they're yeah. very like dark. Like they're not, they haven't been washed and put through Compared the dryer yet with a tissue. That's nice. <laughs> 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 but I don't know what like what fit of jeans. No, I know. We're in. like, what is it? Because you can buy any fit under the sun now. Wide leg yeah. is really in. But yeah. like, you can't wear wide. Like, remember back no. in the day when you would wear that and they would get wet and oh it's just like yes. under your feet, just yeah. dragging, it's like cropped and like. Yeah. But also long. I've seen some cool looking people wearing long jeans. Mm -hmm. Same kind of issue. 
You're yep. wearing and it's ripped on the back and they're getting soaked and they get soaked up to your knee. It reminds you of the 90s, the same yeah. decade yeah. that Justine was born. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was born yeah. then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were born in the 90s. Yes. I've been real into the 70s now, speaking of the 70s, because I just watched- 30 years ago? Uh, uh, yeah, a long time. <laughs> um, I was watching Daisy Jones and the Six. Have you guys seen that at all? No. It's like a little- No. It's like a, based around like a fake- Banned in the seventies, which kind of is loosely based on Fleetwood Mac, but it's it's actually really good. What is it network like a show? is it on? Or a on Prime. Hmm. Prime. Yeah. Prime is it, is it Prime like Prime, video. or is it like Prime where I have to pay you an extra subscription to watch it? I think you have to pay for it. You sound real salty about that. Look, but don't you have Prime? I just wanted to we watch the Halo show. Yeah, but I think you get. And then, yeah. You wanted to watch oh. it. Yeah, I wanted to see what it was all about, and then I think it was bad. You had to pay extra. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I paid I for know. Paramount Plus. Paid mm. for Paramount. Get the, get the seven day free trial. Well, that would require me to watch it in seven days. And what else are you come doing? On. What are else you busy saving doctor? <laughs> this is what happens. Like, come on, uh, Chris. Shaving me into watching Halo. Uh, yeah, in seven days. I watched it and I was like, mm, okay, so subscription canceled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then you could get the other seven days. True. Well, you, Chris turns into the alien from Men in Black uh. every night. As soon as his <laughs> bum touches the couch, he just passes out passes out <laughs> passes away it doesn't matter what time four o'clock in the afternoon gone do you know the the, the, the alien meme. that we're talking about <laughs> no what's his name uh i can't remember we looked it up the other day oh my god i do I know remember. but i can't remember i have it saved funny. in my phone yeah it's, it's a great meme it's because it so looks identical to you it's like the resemblance is uncanny it's, yeah, i don't know it's if really it actually oh my, this picture is in my phone ah! <laughs> <laughs> just that's the picture of me in my hospital bed i don't think like this is actually I, i'm sure there's some sort of oath i took that i'm not allowed to like she's not your patient make f exactly <laughs> she's, she's your friend. friend. <laughs> my friends in that case look at her look at her she looks so stupid <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I took. I think. Well, yeah. I obviously took that picture. I mean, I had that same sports bra on for like I know. five. I had to cut it off my body. It was like, oh my god. But I didn't want to take it off because then, like, I'd be flopping around. You'd be exposed. Yeah. So I was like, we're just Girl, leave this on. just leave that on. <laughs> yeah, but then I would have had to look at them. Oh, fair enough. Okay. I'm not looking at those. I know. It's fine. <laughs> Those, no. at all. those things. <laughs> Look at those boobies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're just gonna leave that on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, good old titties. Yeah, <laughs> flopping around. Is that? Is that? What, what about? She was also the youngest person, like in the ICU. Yeah. So like people would have probably been coming in and be like, let's just see what this. <laughs> uh, but people, people are all. <laughs> they couldn't believe I could like talk. <laughs> And had all your teeth. <laughs> they were like, "Wow, it's nice to have someone to talk to when we come in here." I'm like, "Oh." oh. Yeah. I mean, like, the sad the sad thing is, is that the intensive care units like that's literally the highest level of acuity. Like, yeah, that's that's yeah. where the sickest patients go. The poly traumas that are in like car accidents. The the people who are really really sick, intubated, unconscious. So like to have somebody who's there, basically on TPA babysitting duty. Yeah, it's like you're there because something could really bad happen, but. You, otherwise, you're you're normally hell. You're talking to everybody, you know, and yeah. then, of course, like in patients who have you know Paget Schroeder's disease, like you have, they're generally young. Yeah, females usually on an oral contraceptive pill. It's kind of like the classic thing. Yeah, or lightsaber. Or, or lightsaber yeah, with, with like yeah. a yeah. yeah, or like some sort of like hyper uh, we call it hypercoagulable state. So you're more inclined to form blood clots, and then like it's that plus like oh now you have an uh, an inciting event like your mm -hmm. lightsaber turn something overhead mm -hmm. or like some sort Swimming. of physical activity. Yeah, yeah. Baseball, uh, tennis. yeah. Are you like the the, the clot ambassador now? I was last year. <laughs> yes, you're like, I was. There's it's gonna be coming up again. The, thrombosis the, queen. The MVC, yeah. the most valuable clot. Mm -hmm. You gave me yeah. a band, a thrombosis day band. I know. There's like a day for for thrombosis. It's October, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, it might be a different day this year, but it's usually the same, oh. around the same time. It's like the 13th anniversary, I think, this year. 10th, maybe. That's, it's nice, a number. That, that's nice that clots have only been around for 13 years. Well, that's when the, no, the I don't, I, I'm aware. <laughs> the awareness has started forming, but that's, it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you were the liveliest bunch in the IC. Because I was strolling around, you know. I was, like, just, you know, getting my steps in. And, like, I would see some of the other candidates in there, and it was... Very depressing, and yeah, we weren't so supposed depressing. to get really have any visitors. And we told our friend Rosanna to not show up. I was like, "No, we're fine. Like, don't <laughs> come." Not only did she <clears throat> attend, we were supposed to go to Hawaii together like that next week. She came in full Hawaiian attire. She brought the Hawaii yeah, to you. She, she had a coconut bra, <laughs> bear, a straw like little dress, and she had it covered in a jacket. So she walked in and then took off. It was all like oh a strip God. show. It was incredible. A strip yeah. show. <laughs> it was seriously like she just like strip like took off that like trench. Was coat. the ICU yeah. team there? I mean, like they were. They around. were. They didn't care. They were really cool. Like, did they, they think that awesome. she was like hired entertainment or something? I don't know. <laughs> I was like laughing and crying because I was like laughing. Like I'm also I can't go to Hawaii now, and <laughs> now you're getting a strip tease by your friend. I know. Great. 
Oh, so did gosh. she not go? She stayed home. Oh no, she went. Oh, she went. Yeah, yeah. yeah everybody went. Mm-hmm. It was like a coincidence where like everybody was going. Yeah. Sometimes we were gonna, like gonna meet up. I see. Mm-hmm. I stayed with you. Yeah, thank you. That's nice. I didn't have any plans. Well, that's fine. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Did anybody in the hospital recognize you for I Justine content creator? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's why she kept her boobies in. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, it was one guy um, when we were. I think I might have told you this, but we were. I was going down to get a CT scan after I felt some chest pain which you know it's like cool clot has broken off and gone to my lungs love that that actually, um, that actually happened that's yeah. Scary. yeah yeah and i was like i was like struggling to breathe a little too so that wasn't fun so they took me down at like 1 a.m to get the ct scan and then on the way this guy gives me like a little fist bump he's like you're a legend oh and i was like i was giggling because like i knew and then like this older nurse was like oh that's so sweet of him to say that to you and i'm like well, yeah. I kind of am a legend. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, it's not because of, I was like, we're just going to. I was yeah. like, do you have any prune juice? Because I, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't pooped in a while. <laughs> <laughs> like my body hurts. <laughs> do you have any cream of wheat? <laughs> oh, I love cream of wheat. It's so good. Thank you. Did I you? had Thank some you. the other day. My mom made it for me. It was lovely. It's kind of like, mm, like mush. Yeah, but it's like, it was so nice on a cold day. Yeah. <laughs> like, how good would a bowl of like cream of wheat be right now? Little I could really go for some, some cream of wheat. Sugar. Right now. Do you? Um, Remember when I unboxed Cream of Wheat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I do. <laughs> but you, no, 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 no. You, you made it in the microwave. Oh my god, he was so mad that you made it in the microwave. Well, I was supposed. He was to like, be. she's making it wrong. I was like, I'm not, not I would, how you make. Cream I would of wheat. never I like, be friends with this down. person. Well, <laughs> good thing you're not. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Do you like oatmeal? Yeah. Sorry. Well, so I do, but I have a severe oat allergy, oh. which I discovered very late in my life, which. Makes sense. Everything makes sense. Yeah. Because I would always have terrible. a stomach ache. I just thought I had a stomach ulcer for a long time, which could have actually been... Uh, Hello? The couple months when we were around a really terrible person, oh. I developed a stomach ulcer. But then I also realized I had an oat allergy. So like oh, oat God. milk lattes. I'm like, oh, it gives me a belly ache after. Like granola, everything. Didn't, didn't you have a big like... Uh, test I did allergy test yeah and from like the doctor walked back in after she goes whoa I could see that one from here she's like what do you think it is I'm like I don't it's know like it could be <laughs> anything she's, right, like, swear word. Yeah, she's like what do you think it was? I was like I don't know like what is it and she's like oh it's I'm like what <laughs> she's treating it like a game yeah, show she literally <laughs> was, it was great because I was like oh I don't know it was like we she goes no it's oats I'm like no oh. it's not and she like took she let me take a picture for you I'm like yeah I'm like let me see and she's like yeah I'm like wow that's big she goes it is <laughs> did you have any metal allergies Metal, metal allergies. Like I nickel. wasn't tested for that. Mm, yeah. It no. Be going through your wrist. What? <gasps> oh my god! The crusty oh. patch. Sorry, just <laughs> no, it. no, no. It is crusty because yeah. it like all crusty it's, Jenna. <laughs> it's like actually, the, it's the skin is like it's like a new texture. That's what my doctor hand, help. <laughs> that, that's what my hands look like after I wash them. Like I'm not a dermatologist. No, I know it. Um, looks like eczema almost. It does actually. Well, yeah, but like, it bur- this was two weeks ago. Is it burn? Mm. Oh, it shit. literally like has deformed my arm. It almost kind of looks like a burn. It did burn me, but yeah, like now it's like not here. It's from my Apple Watch. It's a whole separate. So I put it on this wrist. So does that does that <laughs> irritate that wrist to the same degree? It did before, but it was like a weird, like just like a little bump as opposed to I don't know what happened with this. Maybe we should ask them. Maybe there's something wrong with your watch. Why don't you take just a piece of like clear packing tape and just put it over the... Because it probably mess up the sensor. Oh, it's mm. got to sense things. Yeah, I think mm. the sensor is burning a hole in my body. Look at look at how deformed my wrist is from over the years of wearing an Apple Watch. I mean, it looks normal. Mm. Me. So you see like a little... Yeah, there's a little dent there. Like a, a dent. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, you've got a dent, But back too. to the metal. I, I used actually to wear mine over here. That's I true. But, I mean, you probably have one on the other side, too. Well, now, because that's not where I wear my other that's Apple That's where watch. I have to wear mine, because I was going to burn a hole to no, the sure. bone. But back to your question, I actually had too much copper in my body before. Oh. Really? But then I didn't do anything about it, so I probably still do. How do you get too much copper? I don't know. I didn't. It's usually her- a hereditary. Thing. I didn't do oh. an fu, but my iron is low, so I need I need more iron, mm, less what's copper. What's wrong with you, girl? You got so many th- you. Like a few things. <laughs> well, but then you go and get your blood work done, and they say, "Oh, you're young and healthy. Everything looks fine." <sighs> or an ultrasound. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they told me it was not fine, and I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> great." But then I also never got an answer for that either. Like, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> you're fine. And I'm like, you. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> How I, feel. I can't wait till we get a sponsor so Jenna can really <laughs> let loose. <laughs> I don't know how you really feel. <laughs> Juicy, I've got words. Juicy content. I have so many words. <laughs> wow. I'm starting now. I'm starting to get a little cold. It's very cold. My my uh, exposed skin is this, this is hair. Here, you need this. You need the, you need the long tube. That's yours. Kirkland signature That's tube your socks. hair. Thank you. 
it was funny because I had short hair for the longest time, and Becky had long hair, and it was dyed, and she would always clog the drains. Mm -hmm. Now you were. And it was so obvious because it was blue. So yeah. my hair was, and so it was like blue hair. So I was always getting blamed for clogging the drain, and now. No, she still, she still clogs the drain. No, it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. No, you clog the drain. No, you clog the drain. Well, you guys have very different hair colors now, yeah. so you should be able to tell. Yeah, but some people. It's me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some people think that they they can't tell us apart. They Wait, what? We look the same. You look the what? same. So yeah. I've been misgendered yeah. a um, myriad so times. Yeah, people on the internet, they're like, I can't tell you guys apart. Like, what? you look the same. <laughs> do, do they have <laughs> eyes? <laughs> like, yeah. We so I we were in uh, the hardware store with Becky. Her mom and me. <laughs> <laughs> and dude comes up and walks up to us like, can I help you ladies with something else? Oh, no. <laughs> and I just turn around like, what? <laughs> Did you have a mask on? No, I was back on though. Okay. okay. The yeah. hair. Yeah. And in the airplane the other day, the lady came over and she was like, would you ladies like anything to drink? And, and I was like, like oh, what? And she, no thanks. And then she, and she stopped like, and she didn't say a word. <laughs> but her she face. She like looked down at her paper and she was like trying to read our name. She was like, Rebecca? No. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, because he was wearing a mask and a hat, but your hair was down long. And then we went into the drive through of McDonald's. And yeah, my we, favorite place. And he, it was a good place. I was like, here's your coffee, ma'am. And then I looked up. And he's like, I called you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> and he just laughed at it. I'm like, OK, you know what? Oh, my God. Wow. Really yeah, so that's I, amazing. Well, long hair. I get misgendered often. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just as anybody like thought you're a woman, like smacked your butt. Um, Cause that, not, that, that is like, that's a good ass. Not yet. That happens. <laughs> Just say like I saw a TikTok where someone that? like that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a TikTok where like that happened to the guy and he's like, I turned around and he's like, at first I was like so confused, and then he's like, then I got upset because I realized that like men just randomly do that to women like out yeah. in public, and then I got mad. So I was just wondering if you have you yeah. do you guys get like your butts tapped? I mean, we've been me. kissed on the like people will just come like, to you and like kiss you and like not on the mouth. Close, close. This enough. is close to your mouth. Yeah, that's, that's too true. close. Yeah. Like, don't touch my face. Just don't touch your me. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> just don't, just don't I, touch Just get away from me. I do remember there was like a meetup that I was doing. I think this was in Norway. And there was like so many people just swarming everywhere. And they were like trying to get me to oh, like where stressful. I needed to, to, to be. Oh my God, that makes and like somebody kept grabbing my butt. And I was See, like, really? yeah. And I was like trying to figure out who it was because I was about to take them down. Yeah, seriously. You're yeah, trained to do that yeah, too. Yeah. At the time Before I was the training. Yeah. But still I was. Mm. Well, does anyone else have anything else they would like to speak about? Anything well? you want to air? Any grievances you want to air <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to the non-friends in the group? <laughs> oh, so have you ever tried? Have you ever tried to die? That's all I have tried have to you, touch have you. you ever, and have 54? You ever had any, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever almost died? <laughs> um, she I, did. When? When she was trying to cross the street as a child. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That's true, actually. I was crossing the street. Actually, How do I know your life better than you? I forgot. I blanked. I was like, did I ever die? No, I, I'm really a cautious person. I'm ter terrified about all the things. But when I was a kid, I was a, like across the street from my parents and they were, we were living on a busy street. And I thought my mom said to wait, but I thought she said to come. And so I ran in a car <gasps> like came and I like, like leaned and it like just missed my back. Wow. Yeah. How old were you? I think I was like four. Oh my gosh. I was like a baby child yeah that's traumatizing You're yeah it was her mom yeah she was traumatized so now like yeah, were you a leash kid after that um, <laughs> i wasn't allowed to do gymnastics because i might oh. break my neck um, so you, you could yeah. you could i really i mean there's a lot of what gymnastics. else yeah there's so you weren't a leash yeah. kid after that no i wasn't that's good. but it's still like very like every time i cross the road after that they would be watching like out the window for a little <laughs> yeah bit. and then i'd be like <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, thank you guys so much for hanging out and uh thank you yeah, we'll put all the links in the description where you guys can check out all of their awesome content ours too yeah. Well, they, no, I'm just I kidding. Mean, they probably have don't seen watch it. ours. Yeah, you're, they're <laughs> watching it. So you're right. Keep watching. And um, yep, <gasps> we haven't read our reviews or listened to our voicemails. It's okay. We'll. We should leave them a voicemail. We should. You leave could leave us a voicemail. We can go <laughs> ten out of ten. We really podcast. like the episode with Becky and Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I also really like the podcast number sixty nine with Sarah Dicci. <laughs> 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 there was a lot of edits in there. What happened? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> did really you cut out some juicy content, or did you have a corrupted mic? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Know. Well, same brain. You guys are same brain. Same brain. Yeah. Same brain. Pretty much. Same brain. Yeah, yeah, we're the same person. We are tuxedo time, technically. Tuxedo time. Yeah, we have a yeah. podcast of. Uh, a long time. Where's okay. our invite to be on it? Yeah, you guys should come by. I yeah. invited you years ago. I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> we'll <laughs> right now. See? See? I know yeah. you did. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. But we could just switch sides. Yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, this okay. is this is not vibey enough. 
for their not. podcast. This no. is trash. We need a full sweatpants. We need oh. like the, looking your terribleest. <laughs> we yeah. need a black wall. Yeah. Black wall. Moody. Like you guys yeah. are, you're way too manicured right now yeah. for mm. our podcast. You look too good to that, be on our podcast Let right me go now. stand on the Except rain for, for a minute. This, <laughs> the, this <laughs> socks. This, <laughs> what a kick me. <laughs> the sock moment works. Nice. Mm. Great. That's a good vibe. All right. Well. Cool. You guys heard a lot of stuff. It was a really great podcast. One of my favorites. Thank you guys for Thank being you. here. Um, Camera Camp, we're going to go back to it. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.